welcome to Culminate Your Life. I'm Felicia and today I am going to share with you for our Inspiration Corner. And I haven't um, posted to our Inspiration Corner in a minute because I wasn't feeling very inspired. But I just wanted to come on and I wanted to share with you what has been on my heart for the last several days. Um, God is just good. He's amazing. He's awesome. He's wonderful. And I'm just so grateful for how He keeps us and for how He always, always, always allows us the grace that we need. He is the one that wakes us up, that helps to give us inspiration and holding on to our faith, keeps us in times of difficulty. And sometimes things happen in your life and you're not sure why things happen the way that they do. And oftentimes you can become discouraged. Or even sometimes um, just question, God, you know, why, what is going on with me? Lord, what and what is next for me when things that you planned on don't go the way that you thought they were going to go? When... Uh, friends and loved ones step away or disappoint you or things just happen in your life that put you in a space to where you have to really evaluate and take stock of your life, your gifts, your future, your relationship with Him and your purpose and your destiny as to where it is that God you know, would have for you to be. Where can you be most effective? And so I'm coming on today um, for those that may be in that space and that place where you feel uninspired and there are things that you want to do, things that God has put in your heart and you have procrastinated, you have not taken the steps to launch out into the deep. And so... That's what I want to talk about today. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will note that on, I believe, believe it was my posting for last Friday. I'm going to just share. I have my phone right here. Um, on last Friday, God gave me this word. And it's just been resonating down in my spirit. And I, I, I said a few things. Uh, but I wanted to just delve deeper into it. This scripture is from Psalms 118 and 6. And it says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? It's time. And that's the word that God gave me was, it's time. So I wanted to share with you that no matter what you're dealing with and no matter what you've gone through, no matter where you might be right now, God has a future and a destiny in store for you. And it is time for you to begin to write the vision, make it plain, make those plans, put it on paper. If God put it in your heart, it's for you to do there is a point in time where things begin to manifest. But that's never going to happen if you don't begin to take the necessary steps to begin to move into what it is that God has called you to do. Many of you out there know that, that there is a call on your life. Many of you out there know that there is a ministry to be had that God would have you to share. And sometimes when you share so much... You just get to the place to where you feel depleted. And, and you become burnt out. And so you have to make sure that you take care of yourself first. And then you can take care and pour into others. But it's time. It's time for what? It's time to move. It's time to launch out into those deep places. And those places that you know you may be fearful of. You know, let the fear go because God is on your side. He says you don't have to fear anything. What can man do to you? Fear of failure? What is that? 
Okay, we all fail. If you fail, if you try, if you fail, try it again. Get up and try it again and again and again. No matter what, you have to keep going and you have to press through. And there are things that God really wants you to do that's going to change somebody else's life. So I just want to say to you, if you've been waiting, if you have been procrastinating, if you have tried to talk yourself out of whatever it is that God has put on your heart, or there are people in your pathway that have tried to talk you out of what you know God has said and confirmed to you, I'm speaking this word to you, that it's your time. God is on your side. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Faith always outweighs the fear. So even though you may be afraid or may have, uh, have uh, reservations about moving forward, know that God has you. He has you. He said that he would never leave or forsake you. So just know that your his job is to give you the vision. Your job is to carry it out. The Lord told me to tell you today, that it's your time. So get moving. Launch out into the deep. Make the plans. And begin to work the plan. You know, write the vision down. Begin to work it. If God has given it to you, then he's also given you uh, everything that you need to be able to carry it out. He's given you everything that you need to be able to perform it. Because it's really just God working through you, in you, and with you to will and do His good pleasure. We are vessels that God uses to work through. He needs a body. Uh, he has deposited His Spirit in us. And we have to share that light. We have to share the good news. We have to share about His greatness and His awesomeness. And there are things that nobody else can do but you. Nobody else can do it but you. God handpicked you. He handpicked you. Because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Just for him. By him. And so when we begin to open our hearts and our minds to possibilities that, okay, God, I'm just going to yield. I don't know where this is going to take me. But God, I'm just going to yield to the process. God, I yield to, you know, my own thoughts, wills, and abilities. Because without you, I'm nothing. Without you, I can do nothing. It's only because of you that I exist. And we were created not just to um, exist here, but to begin to build the kingdom of God here on earth. So, we should be asking ourselves... Whose life can I touch? Who needs what I have? Where do I need to get plugged in at? Or, and or, okay God, you gave me this vision. I've written it down. Now show me how to begin to take the necessary steps to begin to manifest it. Whether it's um, your own business, whether it's your um, ministry, um, a job, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be anything. You know, maybe it's, it's helping people to build homes, you know, that for those that don't have a home. Maybe it's helping the homeless. You know, maybe it's working in a shelter. You know, maybe it's writing a book. You know, I know that God has given me a book and that he has given me. Um, and, you know, I have just put it off. I have waited and I have, you know, just procrastinated and when is the right time? There's never going to be, you know, a right time for you because life gets in the way. But God's timing is always perfect. And he told me to tell you, don't be afraid. Don't look at the giants. Just keep your eyes focused on him and work the vision. Don't look at what, um, don't listen to what other people have said, the naysayers, get rid of the naysayers, cut people off and out of your life that don't mean you well, that don't serve you well in your purpose or to um, your destiny. So 
You know, sometimes you have to, you know, make that circle that's been wide. Sometimes you have to bring that circle in and begin to disconnect from the things that don't serve you in your life and in your purpose and help you towards your destiny. And it's not that you're upset with anybody, but everybody can't go where God is taking you. So, just want to say, don't be afraid. Trust Him no matter what. And I promise you, He's going to bring it to pass. I hope that this uh, word has encouraged you or inspired you today. I pray that if you um, are watching and if there's something that you need prayer about or you need me to touch and agree with you for, please leave it in the comment section if you need prayer for anything or you have a situation going on in your life that you need prayer, put it in the comment section. Or if you have a prayer request, email us at culminateyourlife at gmail.com if you don't want you know, to put it in the comment section. Otherwise, go ahead and put it in the comment section so that we'll be praying with you and touching and agreeing with you in prayer at least for a change in your life that God would would move or shift or bring it to pass or whatever your situation may be. We love you and we hope and pray that you have a blessed week. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on all of our social media platforms and be blessed, stay favored, and we will see you in the next video.